Hello everybody, welcome to the second semi-final. We've got to get the ref. We've got Diomed's Necromantic team up against Singolo's Orcs. And in the booth with me is the champ himself. It's Dimmy F and G. Hello. Hey. <laughs> How's it going, Jim? I am pumped for this. We're at the business end of the season. This is the, the semi-final. We've got a Russian off. And uh, it's like two good teams, two very good teams, two very bashy teams, and we're, we're gonna we're gonna see some banging, aren't we, Jim? <laughs> oh yeah, there's gonna be some banging, some hardcore banging. Singolo has got two bribes, so I guess Diamed must have cut something so that he didn't get the wizard. No, um, Diamed lost his goal in the last game, didn't he, against the Norse? Diamed lost the Agi, was it an Agi goal or a strength four goal? I can't remember, but it was strength four was a... missed next, yeah. But yeah, he, that was... he was still going to get a wizard, uh, Singolo. Like when I just when I last checked on the teams, he was getting a wizard. But then maybe he got this goblin after that, um, and he's only oh, got. You a, don't, you don't get a goblin for a wizard. Holy moly! Well, he's, he's only, only got... got a bribe, but he, he wanted twelve, 12 players. players, I guess. Yeah, that was it. He had eleven. No, players, but the bribe, the bribe was the kickoff, wasn't it? The bribe. Was yeah, the but he's got two. Ah, okay. So where's his dirty player? Oh, there he is. Right, okay. Ce joueur préfère se battre entouré. Dirty wrestler. Um. PC hasn't had virgin internet this whole time, has he? Because it surely he hasn't. That's Don't tell me he's twit. Glorious. Terrible decision if no, you're streaming. I won't uh, give PC. In. You've got to change the yeah. yeah. stream. Victorious. And yeah. I will defend. Style BT all day. I will defend. Yeah, you, it's, they're just too unreliable. It's ridiculous. Thank you very much. Can't log on for staying fantastic for 23 glorious months. Nearly six who will be your pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. <laughs> Fat ends Elrond. Oh. <laughs> Can't log on. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you very, very much. Glorious. <laughs> I wonder who won the toss here as well. Uh, I'm guessing it's Geomet. Yeah, yeah. He probably wants to go and try and bang people out, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? There's only there's only eight guard on the uh, on the orcs. <laughs> no, seven maybe. Four, five, six. Yeah, only seven guard on the orcs. Um, yeah. Like, and it was nine not so long ago, but now they're down to seven. They've got a miss next game uh, blitzer and a rookie blitzer to replace the dead killer. Um, and there's there's five. I mean, five guard on the necro is amazing. Like, that's a hell of a lot of guard for necro, isn't it? But it's still not matching up to all. Um, but, you know, they're out of strength and they're all guarded. So it is going to come down to can this claw palm, um, you know. Glorious. Found the regen. Found the regen. I don't know if I found the regen. I guess it's not worth fouling the line now is the I logic. Will defend. But... Yeah, he's got a bribe. Get it's your moves out. Foul. This is the only reason I sub. <laughs> One day we'll have a hot tub DIMMY that and Jimmy. That is a really poor ball carrier Stream. as well. <laughs> Food <laughs> WWRR. Yeah, he got, it, well, he, got his, he, got his, he got his strength up. Uh, Bludge, sure hands, miss next game, yeah. Um, thank you very much, Goliath, for staying fantastic for nearly six whole beaver pregnancies, nearly two years. Um, Jesus. Once a hot tub Dimmy and Jimmy stream. Oh, baby, imagine that. <laughs> Nipples. <laughs> be some, you be... have the pretty big hot tub. <laughs> <I'm not gonna laughs> lie. Maybe Jim come 2023, eh? Oh, that'd be amazing, yeah. <laughs> so, so far. Ooh. 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 Problem with, uh, that's the problem with uh, Necro and Undead, and so you can't Apo KOs. Yeah. I mean, not, I don't, I don't think he would there necessarily, but it is a, it is a weakness, I think. Yeah, it is. That that is that is fair. That is definitely, that is definitely something um, they've got to contend with, isn't it? Yeah. Like, especially when it's like a golem or something like that. Like not being able to like just keep them on the pitch. Well, they get Igor, isn't Titty it? Titty biscuits. Well, that doesn't really do anything. Titty biscuits. <laughs> Thanks, HTK. <laughs> Titty biscuits. <laughs> Looks like Singolo set the stall up. He's like, oh, you can score, but you're not blitzing one of my big guys for free. <laughs> he, can, he can actually hit the uh, hit the hit the blitz the blitzer here, right, with this guy. 
You can get in two guards and then smash this guy, curl palm in, but then the danger is getting fouled, isn't it? That's it. That's it. Like, it's going to be interesting to see how much DMA palms, because against the high elves, it, it was off the chain, wasn't it? It was just... <laughs> <laughs> but there was no there was no real counter threat, was there? So... Yeah. Uh, and you want to blitz with Claw. Are we going to see some terrible Frenzy Trap Necro dodges? We might, blitzes? yeah. Yeah, we might I've got, see I've got a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a feeling. Lurts. Magnus the Pink. Isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's Lurts. We need, uh, we need, like, if I'm, uh, Diomed, I'm just looking at the tackle pieces, thinking, how do I, how can I hit them? It's not easy. It's not. This is going to be a frenzy trap dodge, isn't it? It's going to... Yeah, classic, classic frenzy, frenzy trap dodge. It's going to, it's going to push him into the... Stand firm. Oh baby, whoa, whoa, this doesn't look safe. Like, hang on. No, it's fine. That it's just that because he, 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 he couldn't push him in the stand firm, could he? He needed to hit from this side to do that, but he had to follow yeah. because he couldn't take out the air uh, troll. Alright, it gets the power. So is he dodging before he moves the tackle? I guess he's just going to pile on here because he can, he can put he can push uh, him in the stand uh, firm here, right? So he's still protecting okay. the people on either side, but he can still get foul. This is still a dangerous pile. <laughs> The bulky! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a big KO. So we're one for one at the moment, and it's what is it? A zombie versus? Oh no, it's a white versus a black orc, which is probably favour to the necro. But there's a few hits here that the orcs are going to get back for free-ish. Yeah. He needs to move that wolf because he's right next to tackle mighty blow and dirty player. Yeah. But then he also wants to protect the ball a bit with him, doesn't he? So, yeah, he's going to move him back so he's still screening. I think we're just hitting the wolf here, Jim, aren't we? I, I don't know. I don't think Singolo cares if Diomed scores at this stage. Like, the way he set up for that first turn. I mean, there is hitting the wolf, try. but there's also hitting this fleshy and then fouling the uh, wolf, isn't there? Yeah, there is that. There is that. Two and get a big gun foul. You need a pal, though. Yeah. And the only wrestle he's got is on the dirty player. <laughs> Which is <laughs> wrestle him down and then I mean two bribes, isn't it? Two bribes you're just you are gonna go ham on the fouling. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely fouling every turn that he can basically. Yeah. And rightly so. Mm. Wrestling kick goo. Oh yeah, big up Wang Nation. I mean the ball protection in this game is next level. Oh yeah, he could have just blitzed straight on, couldn't he? Yeah. Oh yeah, why didn't he do that then? Yeah, he could have put the he could have put the fleshy there and then just blitzed here and ran away afterwards. There, that was loads better. Yeah. Very yeah, good dog to the dog. Kill Bill. Yeah, kill Bill. Whatever, Trevor. The, whatever, Trevor. <laughs> My sister used to go out with a geezer called Trevor, and that's what I used to say to him all the all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Whatever, Trevor. Uh, he's. Hang on. What's going on? Mr. Mr. Throw Blitz. Yeah, he's going for that foul. There's the pushes that you love to see. <laughs> Inevitable they are, aren't they? They yeah. are. Gets him this oh! time. Oh! This is, one this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is double GFI foul, isn't it? With no, one I can assist. Tell from uh, I bet it's two assist minus. Okay. Of course, if we were playing Blood Bowl 3, there'd be two defensive assists here with the guard, wouldn't there? And he would get two offensive oh, assists. Mate. Got the old kill. Oh. That is that is probably why I, I I question the blitz. Yeah, I didn't like it. It would have been much better as as Kill Bill said to just blitz him into the fleshy from here and then run away. And you still got a wolf. Yeah. I mean the good news for Diomed is it means he's got no more pom bait, so he he might actually have to play Blood Bowl now, which is 
Probably actually quite terrifying for him, honestly. It is. You don't want to play, have to play Blood Bowl against this fucking team. Like, he it hasn't, mate. He <laughs> hasn't had to play Blood Bowl at all so far in this uh, competition. <laughs> so, like now, it's like he's like it's, it's they've definitely met each other's match. Do you know what I mean? It's like stylistically, they're very similar players. Mm. Team wise, they're very like. I'm gonna pom something. I'm gonna foul it. <laughs> And then, like, the problem, like, this is why, like, I don't like having the ball in this particular matchup because you have to think about the ball, which kind of detracts from your banging. Yeah. I mean, losing your wolf also detracts from your banging. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that, there is that, Jim. And He's just got a potato, well. hasn't he? He's just got a potato and dodge with a dodge with a wolf and the and the uh, white to protect. That's all I see that he's got. He's just got to score and turn four. And then hope yeah. that something happens. Like, I don't think there's any way you make this safe. Like, reasonably. Yeah. I'm certainly not keep it safe. Nope. It's already, like... Just remove... Like, this is the thing about this Necro team as well. It's like, when, the, when you remove those two players, look how weak this team looks now. Yeah. Whereas beforehand it looked super strong, yeah. And just by like it's it's like cutting the head off a snake, isn't it? It's just like I don't know if you've ever cut the head off a snake, Jim. I've done it several times in my uh, when I lived in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I never lived in Australia. I was just on holiday there, Jim. It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I've never cut the head off a snake. No. Yeah, but it's like, well, well, I mean, it's the two big pieces that have been removed in exchange for a black orc. So the, the orcs, although down one strength four, they're, they're in a much better position now. It may have taken a while to think about this turn as well. Yeah. Obviously, you just realised he's in a game here. Yeah, it's, it's kind of why I don't like Necro as well, right? They're like, they're pretty fragile, like, they're... They've only got a few good players, and, and if they lose them, they're, uh, they struggle, don't they? That's the thing. Half your team is absolute garbage. That's the <laughs> thing with Necro, isn't it? Like, yeah. Like, the majority of your team is just crap. Your yeah. positionals are fantastic. They're maybe some of the best positionals in the game, excluding War Dancers and Gut Runners. Uh, and then... Yeah, when you when you when you miss out on a couple of them. Oh, that is a scary dodge. I don't know what he's playing at here. Why isn't he one dodge gonna... so that he's actually screaming? Is he double dodging or just terrifying? Uh, no, he's going. He's going. One more. He has to go one more. I thought he has to go. Two. Uh, yeah, he's a square two far forward, isn't he, Jim? Yeah, I mean, or is it, it because like... of the Mr. Throw? Mr. Throw's only movement. Oh. Ho, ho. I mean, now it's okay, but if he'd just been one back, then he could have been one back with a with a, with a wolf as well, didn't he? he? Didn't have to do that GFI. The longest turn I've seen DMA take in the whole CCL playoffs, which <laughs> probably highlights how uncomfortable he is compared to what he has been so far. Giancy. Can't see me. There's the pal. Doesn't get the armor break. Are we fouling that boy? Are we just. Yeah, he's getting fouled. So, what sort of. Are we applying pressure to the ball? Or are we just going, nah, mate. <laughs> I'm just gonna. No, definitely. On. Definitely apply pressure to the balls. Um, <laughs> can free this guy. Uh, you free this tackler here, the tackle and get back. Mr. Throw can go on this guy. Um, this lineman can assist this hit, and then he can smash. Or whatever, or Mr. Throw can assist, and he can smash, and then he can come back. Oh, no, it doesn't free the, it doesn't free the tackler. It I like punches. the tackler a lot. Yeah, yeah I do, yeah. I'm not saying it's shit and wrong, but... Uh, like, you know, this this way, this was easier to do, right? This only This didn't require the troll hit to free him. Um, but obviously he's a much worse player to get near the ball. Yeah. That's the problem. Well, it's a Roger though, isn't it? It's not your standard bludger, which is... 
I mean, tackle's obviously still better, but it's not as important as what you'd expect normally when you're playing against goals. No, true. But I would, I would, I would have personally, I would have gone for that to try and, you know, it's a bit oh, yeah. greedy. It's a bit greedy to get him up there, but. Uh... Here's the mighty blow tackle hit on the wolf, and Oof. he's fouled him. Moment of silence. <laughs> he's it's amazing he went diving tackle before he went sidestep. It is, isn't it? Um, I'm not sure if I like that personally. I hate it personally. I mean, who's to say if it's right or wrong, Jim, you know? Exactly. <laughs> who's to say? I, uh... Does he foul the wolf or the flesh? Oh. Yeah, I would have gone for the fleshy. Oh, you know, the fleshy is fixed skull, isn't it? So it's like, but it's got more assists. But I mean, would he have broken armor? No, he wouldn't have broken armor either way. Whoa, Ooh. casual four plus. Whoa, look at all that! The, all the dice. All what the a dice. maneuver! <laughs> <laughs> what a maneuver! <laughs> all the colors, all the sizes. <laughs> Holy that was uh, pretty special. And uh, I'm expecting a three minute turn here from Diamond. Like, what the hell do you do here? Tricky, isn't it? You got, well, it's the four plus with tackle on you, so. And well, you could do the three plus from here and then blitz him. Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. Is it not better to do the, the three plus and blitz with the wrestle? No. Unless. Yeah, because you can't follow, can you? So, I don't know, Jim. You could put the guard in here, and then he could blitz, and then you could just dodge. Oh, so you dodge the guards. Yeah, you dodge got, the I think you've got to dodge the guard and put him there. Yeah, and then you dodge the wolf, and then blitz through the throw, miss the throw, and then and then take the throw. Free up. Is that what you're saying? That's cool. No, I'd, I'd blitz. I'd blitz the blitzer, either with the ghoul or with the wolf. But either way, blitz the blitzer, and then go. Because yeah. Mr. Throw's strength 5 with the guard, isn't he? So you can't really hit Mr. Throw at all. <laughs> and also, this is the guy with tackle, so you want to get rid of the yeah. tackle as well. We'll find out in a minute's time. Uh, 1 minute 30, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think like it just shows how um, Singolo uh, has asked a lot of questions of Diamond, uh, like really early in this half as well. Yeah, his team's still really good, isn't it? It's a decent team. Uh, maybe, may, maybe he's just waiting for a burger from the barbecue. I don't know what's going on here, Jim. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna sort out a YouTube video then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's the guard. Okay. Yeah, he, he had no choice. That had to come in sooner or later. And yeah, he's okay. for the wolf blitz. This is this is kind of good, right? Because it means that the you know like this got the floor here. Basically. Oh, huge cast, Jim. Yeah. The upside to that was better. For sure. Apo in. Apo says fine. It was a baddie hurt. So it's, it's Apo says fine. And now this is there's no GFI. Whereas if you'd blitzed him, obviously you could have bought down, which is terrible. But then. It's all one in nine. One, two, three. Oh, oh my god! Oh, and it's KO'd himself! Wow, it saved the GFI by not hitting him. And also, uh, it meant that he wouldn't have to dodge off tackle position. If only that wolf had sidestep, it would actually be useful right now. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Instead of not useful at all. Going for the wrestle yeah. hit, clever. And there's a blitzer there, just ready to sweep this up. Notice, not the tackle blitzer, which would have been my player. I'd have had my tackle blitzer there, ready to hit him with tackle, just quietly. I mean, Jim, you're pretty good at Blood Bowl, aren't you, Jim? Right, let's, let's be real. Yeah, you're a pretty fantastic Blood Bowl player, aren't you, Jim? I'm not bad, am I? I'm not bad. Hey, G Bowl of Power, anyway. That's the difference. See, that's the difference between me, <laughs> me and Zingola. Yeah. <laughs> he just rolls the power, anyway. 
<laughs> mate, against, um, what's his face, Duderino, mate, he'd done a couple of bits that were just like, yeah, what can fail? Like, the, the wrestler dodge and stuff, like, I think you remember what I'm talking about. After yeah. the fireball or something, like, there was just, it just bows and just goes in. <laughs> like, don't pick the ball up, Singolo, just, just got to prioritise the hit on the wall. I mean, I guess it's, it's fine, isn't it, because you, uh, you got the stun, but now he's got a 1 in 9 dodge from Mr. Pro. Yeah, I think he just punches, I just don't think he cares about going for the ball. He probably does, I mean, yeah. He can, he, now he can free this tackler anyway, but yeah. It's I good. mean, to be fair, you know, my plan to free the tackler did need a 2 plus and a, and a blockless block from the troll, so like, it, it's not like it was just better. Right? It, was just, it was just more risk and more reward, wasn't it? But he's not, he's not freeing him up. No, he doesn't care, does he? Apparently not. He's literally having the time of his life. <laughs> But yeah, I don't think there's any need for uh, Mr. Thrower to dodge. You can just punch it and just punch that way. Mm. Like, the, the fuck is Dying Med going to do? Oh, well, he does do the dodge. <laughs> I really didn't like that because if he won the nines that, then all of a sudden he could have lost his thrower, couldn't he? Well, mate, the, the scary thing now is there's only going to be one KO roll before half time and two of those are staying out and if one of them's the wolf and one yeah. of them's the white it's gonna be a really dead second half. <laughs> yep, yep, Diamed is up shit creek. Without a paddle. Yep. Yep, this is this is horrible. Horrible this for Diamed. Singolo's probably dancing around, <laughs> playing music, clapping his hands. He probably is, yeah. <laughs> he loves it, mate. I love watching Singolo stream. I'm a big fan of Singolo streaming. Like he's he's hilarious, Jim. Like he's yeah. brilliant. He's emotional as well. Like like you know, like you can sit there watching him in Russian and you know exactly what he's saying all the time just because of his like his like his mannerisms and stuff. Like it's <laughs> it's brilliant. Like I I genuinely went through a phase of watching loads of Singolo. <laughs> oh my god, that's a huge. Huge four plus there. Le de situation que are we gonna foul the wolf again, or are we gonna? Yeah. yeah Guess why not? He's definitely fouling the wolf again. Ah. Uh... Maybe with a rookie. Yeah. Because then he could hit the freshie with wrestle. The thing that the thing that I'm questioning is is he gonna just take the one in nine dodge with Mr. Fro like it's nothing? And which I think he will do. He'll just go, Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> like he he might try, like I mean probably the correct thing is to hit him with a wrestle dirty player. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I got a feeling that he's gonna foul with a dirty player and just dodge off like a madman. <laughs> he might do. I mean he might just roll a power as well, might he? He, he, yeah, I mean, that helps. Oh, that's a regem. See, Jim, you would not have got that Kaz because your tackle guy would have been in the backfield. That's true, yeah. That's true. That's true. I think, I think, I think, yeah, he's fouling. <laughs> <laughs> Foul first. A mad bastard. Gets the removal. Is he going to one in nine dodge this? I guess he, he gets one You can one still blitz. blitz him with block, right? So is he blitzing with the ball carrier? No, he's blitz with his black orc or whatever, and then he can always. Ah, oh, the black orc. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, he gets the power. power. Easy. That's disgusting. <laughs> Easy power. This has got to be like the easiest game of Blood Bowl ever, isn't it? Like when you look at it on paper, it's like, oh, who's gonna win this? Like who's gonna be able to? Outplay the other. Like this is very one-sided. <laughs> yeah. This is like. I tell you what, though, I did like. I did like going for the foul with the rookie, and then not using the like you know at the end, and then not using the bribe, so that you yeah. still got the bribe for the second half. Um, I mean, it's over at this point, isn't it, Jim? But like, yeah, like, I guess bar, it is pretty much over. Yeah. Barring, barring a miracle, like when I, I got to stop jumping into games, like, I need to start jumping into close games later on in the game because every time I commentate with you, it's a one-sided slaughter. <laughs> there's no, there's no blood bowl. There's no skill involved. We've got four players on the pitch. <laughs> it's just facing. 
I mean, obviously there is some skill involved. You got to roll those pals. That's true, yeah. Got to roll the pals. Oh, fucking. Didn't All publish right. my video. I published it unlisted. What an idiot. What an idiot, Jim. This is looking like. Was it? Can I reveal the other score? I know you casted it. Yeah, go on. Yeah, so this is looking like Sindane versus Singolo. We're looking like our, our second all orc final in CCL history. Uh, obviously, the one before that was Gdanik versus Pol. And oh, it yeah. famously only lasted three turns. <laughs> so, we might. We might see our fastest ever CCL final. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And Singolo's second win, which means he'll be back on the dwarfs, which is terrible for the whole of CCL. <laughs> see, this is what we're more used to with flesh golems. Yeah. Oh! Very good. It costs him not having that wrestle hit. Costs and he's him. KO'd himself. Wow. And he's KO'd himself. What can go wrong, Jim? Yeah, see, now, not to say I told you so or anything, but had he had the wrestler up there to blitz flesh, he'd have been all right. Just quietly. Well, just loudly. Yeah, that was quite loud, Jim. Uh, my neighbours just knocked on the door and asked you to keep it down. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> Oh, it doesn't suddenly look at. I mean, there's massive amounts of pressure on these KO rolls, right? Yep. Fails. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI handoff. How many rerolls? Two rerolls. Quite funny, Mr. Pro KO'd himself. It is, yeah. Yeah, I, I I do take a lot of pleasure out Mr. Foe. Mr. Foe? Mr. Fro. Mr. Failing. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Fro. Fro. <laughs> Mr. Friend or Mr. Foe? <laughs> <laughs> hey, so Mr. Foe. <laughs> I'm looking for a Mr. Foe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's been an England game, Jim. Excuse me. <laughs> might, might have been a little bit overexcited this afternoon. I was excited for about 10 minutes and then we got really boring for like 70 minutes. I'll pick us up easy as you like. Does he even need to hand off? He's got another turn. Yeah, but he's got a GFI twice, so we might as well just do the handoff instead of the GFI, if you ask me. Is a, is a 3 plus better than a 2 plus 2 plus? Um, I don't think it is. Well, no, it would have been a 3 plus versus a 2 plus, but then this way, you, like, if you score on the rookie. Then uh, he can score uh, twice this game and have you another guard for the final, right? So I would have gone for the handoff to him, which would have failed. And you, you would have thrown the game away. Nice rolls were, were 2 1 2, so I would have failed that. But then I would have still had a 1 in 9 the next. Oh no, he's only had one reroll. Oh no, he used reroll. Yeah, he had two rerolls, right? So he had the handoff and then the pickup next turn. So I, I thought that was fine. To do the handoff because then you know, then you might get two touchdowns on him and he might get card for the final. Maybe that's a bit too much of a piss take. I guess this guy might get another skill for the final anyway, right? He's on 46. Yeah, so. I don't know about you, Jim, but I'm a, I'm a big fan of winning games. Yeah, but I mean, you've won this one, haven't you? Pretty much. Has he? Has he? Yeah. A pitch invasion, and this is wide open. A wide open cloak. That's the thing, Blood Bowl is never done until half time and you've had that kickoff result and then it's done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a massive pitch invasion, like some amazing K roll, KO rolls and a massive pitch invasion. This is game one. Right, I reckon two come back. Oh, you're going with the statistics. I reckon three come back. And neither wolf. Oh, oh man. man. And not the ghoul. Now, if this was Blood Bowl 3, these whites wouldn't even have hands. <laughs> and they would just be done. It would just be game over. Already. I mean, we've, all seen, we've all seen a load of magic tricks with no hands, haven't we, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> um, and obviously, it's pretty much over already, but 
It would be Hang definitely on. over if they have no hands. Yeah, Diomed has got the fame, a pitch invasion here. And it's game on. Well, yeah. it's kind of, kind of not game on, because the three worst possible players staying out, stayed out. Yeah. So yeah, he's only got, uh, to be fair, yeah, he's only got one out of three. This one's out of two. Alright, it's pretty wonder, much over. I wonder if these two, like, chat to each other in game. I'd love to know what sort of banter is going on right now. <laughs> yeah. Do you reckon, what's, what's Russian for banter? <laughs> for what? What's Russian for? You know, like all the French guys, they type in chat oh, right. like, when, when, oh, when you roll a pal. I thought you, I like, thought, I thought oh, your mic could cut out, but then yeah, I realised you were like going. Pff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like what, what's Russian for? Oh, I reckon there's a few of them going on in chat right now. Yeah. Didn't die. No pitch invasion. No, Double that. skulls. <laughs> Casual. Uh, okay. He's regen though. Yeah, it's Cloaca, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, this was a fascinating game of Blood Bowl, Jim. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, for the the, the turn that it lasted. <laughs> yeah, about three or four turns, but it was pretty interesting. <laughs> it was, uh... But no. Fucking over. It's like it's like watching the Grand National and like a hundred and whatever twenty horses fall on the first fence and there's only one left. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, well, this game of Blood Bowl has kind of been like, yeah, with a bit of Lord of the Rings mixed in there. <laughs> yeah, you can't forget the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah, Gandalf. Oh, Mr. Thro, does he score on Mr. Thro? Or does Mr. Thro go for three completions? I reckon he just. Uh, I don't know what he does. Like, he can do whatever he wants, really, can't he? Mm. He's 1-0 up now, so... Is that...? Yeah. He's gonna try you said... Him. You said... It, you said it was likely Necro in the final. <laughs> I did, yeah. <laughs> but I didn't think he'd just foul pile on in front of some, a guy with a dirty player and two bribes. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the gym curse. The gym curse. It was the gym curse, yeah. Who did I predict? Let's have a look at who I predicted for this. Diamed. Loads of people predicted Diamed. Diamed, yep. Diamed and of, like, That whole thing, that whole thing was Diamed and Sindane, wasn't it? That whole feed? Uh, no, Tom Schnees went for single. Though. After, after winning the first ever prediction competition on... Uh, uh, Dio's channel. I, I haven't since entered. Oh, right. Despite people saying that there's the Dimmy Curse when I actually won the prediction competition. So, mm. there you go. Sports fans. There you go, sports fans. Boy. Not only the quiz pit champion, the <laughs> prediction champion. <laughs> and the OCC 5A champion, of course. Yeah. How can anyone Hello. ever forget about our CC five uh, Sorry, I fell asleep halfway through that. How could anyone forget about OCC five A champ? I mean that is I mean, it, peak blood ball, it, isn't it? It is way better than SFL three and five. <laughs> I mean like it's it's not it's not that sort of level competition, let's be real. <laughs> I, I did also win Rebel 4A, but I, I never talk about that one because that that was just a given, you know. <laughs> I, had, I had noobs like Andy Davo in that division, so it was a, a free win. Oh, that's that's easy for the champ, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Although I have lost, I did lose to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the league that you're too afraid to even apply oh, the, 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 the SFL <laughs> shot out of someone to game in. Fuck shit about the winner 3 5, you motherfucker. Why don't you show up in the SFL and see if you can even make the fucking playoffs, Timmy? Scurro out. Yeah, someone someone uh, needs to go on a photography training course. <laughs> <laughs> 
He was really quiet. I hope none of the chat heard him. <laughs> Jim, Jim just silenced him for his rant. That was brilliant. Oh, brilliant. A wild school room appears. Can't throw shade at the champ. That was amazing. Winner 3-5. Uh, we all know that SFL stands for some fucking losers. <laughs> oh, holy shit. I think it now stands for Sailor Moon Fan Club League. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Sailor Moon Fan League. That's what it, that's what it's, that's what it's later stands for now. Who, who, who is Sailor Moon? You don't know Sailor Moon? Get out of town. No, I never heard of it. Is it is it the Moonmans or something? I don't know. No, it was like, it was like a cartoon with like a uh, like some kind of Japanese cartoon with like a little girl going around with some powers or something. I don't know. I never saw it, but one of my friends was obsessed by. It. Well, I say friends, somebody I knew <laughs> <laughs> and played played GoldenEye with. Um, oh, GoldenEye was so good. It was amazing, wasn't it? It was cutting edge, mate. It was cutting edge. It really was so fucking do, do you know what, right? I was, I, I had a chat with someone about this. Um, or I made a comment about this. I think Speedball 2 is better than Blood Bowl 3. Yes. It is. Speed, Speedball 2 is an amazing game. Yeah. Fatal Justice. Yeah. I'd love it. I'd love it if they remade Speedball 2. I, I could really get behind that. Yeah, they did, didn't they? I'm pretty sure, but it wasn't as good as I remember. Nah, the original Speedball 2 was probably one of the best games I ever played, and I and I, I will give it that man uh, that that mantle. Yeah, yeah, I really loved that as well. Yeah, brutal deluxe, Super Nashwan, the Turbo Hammers. <laughs> oh man, oh babe, what a game that was. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty what good. What a game, man. It fills me with joy just thinking about it. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. Oh. Well, that, why, is that 5 SPP? No, no, that's 2 because he didn't score on this one, did he? So. Uh, I wouldn't know. Do you know what? He could try. He could try hand off to this guy and then a completion and a touchdown on him to get him to 6. I mean, Jimmy, you're just hell bent on losing this game right now, aren't you? <laughs> you're he like, what? Up. He's what? got nothing left. He's got one and three player. He's, He's got, got nothing left. He's got one and <laughs> three player. The Ian Bill of Blood Bowl. <laughs> I've got nothing left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he wasn't one of my friends really, but I, and I hung around with him. As I say, he played. Uh, he introduced me to Pokemon as well, the bastard. Uh, before it was big, before it was big in England, because he got it from like you know Japan and stuff. Because he was like obsessed with all all things Japanese and stuff, and uh, including Sailor Moon and Samurai Pizza Cats, which I never saw. Um, and he was he talked really bizarrely and he lied about everything. Um, so, and, and now somebody who is my friend, mine and Wanger's friend in Middlesbrough, he, he loves it, like, he always goes, he always, like, to this day, years and years and years after, like, uh, you know, we were friends, um, he still goes and he does the voice and everything in the story, and it's pretty brilliant. And, uh, basically, this guy was called Simo, and he was like... Once I saw a spider, big as my dad's head, that was just the body, not the legs. Very good, I think so. <laughs> and that's how he used to talk. That's a great story, Jim. Thanks, and that's what he said. He literally said that he saw a spider as big as his dad's head. Did his dad have a really small head? Yeah, we, we said that he must be like that. He must, he must have been like Beetlejuice, you know, at the end. <laughs> you said... World record holder for smallest head on the planet. He wasn't like Jim. His dad had a tiny head. <laughs> His dad was Beetlejuice at the end. Um, and Beetlejuice yeah. is a great film. And he said that was just the body, not the legs as well. well I mean, it's just impossible. Even the, even the biggest fucking spiders in the world are the size of a head, <laughs> including the legs. 
There's literally Jim, nothing. Jim, I think we, I think we're gonna need to do something for the Blood Bowl community. We, we're gonna have to raise a fund to get PC off Virgin Internet. <laughs> yeah. we, we're gonna have to donate just to get PC real internet. It's 2021, Jim. <laughs> do you know what's crazy, right? I, I was I was cancelling my Virgin Internet and I was like, I'm going to Sky because I need, you know, it's got to be reliable yeah. for streaming. And they were like. What, and you think Sky is more reliable than Virgin? I'm like, I know it is. Oh, and he's like, you're joking, aren't you? And I was like, what the f <laughs> Everyone knows yeah, we had, We had, um, like, the worst provider we ever had was TalkTalk. Talk. We yeah. never had Virgin. Never had Virgin. And then, like, the we had BT, and then the, the, like, we had a problem with it. The engineer came out, and he said, always have either bt or sky because they pay for the engineers when there's a fault like mm -hmm. talk talk will charge you 70 quid to call out an engineer whereas like sky and bt use the same line so it's always going to be the same speed it doesn't matter which one you have sky tends to be cheaper than bt right. um but yeah like and genuinely mate i'd rather pay the extra three quid a month or whatever it is for, yeah never go with anyone that's not sky or bt oh, you are. thank you well, in the south, it might be different up north because I know you guys have like barely any wires and you know, no cables up north. Yeah. <laughs> have you have you have you got electricity yet, or are you still using generators? Yeah, we we haven't really got electricity. No, we just like we just you know rub rub sticks together and hope that. <laughs> you got a load of hamsters, load of hamsters. <laughs> yeah, clockwork clockwork radio that was invented up north, you know, because had no choice. <laughs> yeah, but Virgin is like notoriously bad. Like my brother yeah. got Virgin, and I laughed my head off at him, and he was like, "What? What? They promised me this. They promised me that." But like, apparently, it's not terrible in London. Like, which is weird because PCs in London. Yeah. So apparently, like, apparently in like the right area, Virgin is amazing. But no one I know lives in the right area. Even the people that live in the right area are in the wrong area. So. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I got it with like you know like fucking fiber and stuff. Because it was like stupidly fast and stupidly cheap, so I got it and I was like, and then it was just shit. Yeah, it just cuts out all the time. Yeah, yeah. like it was no yeah. point in it being really good if it's only really good for like you intermittently. Know. Yeah, I like, <laughs> needed the consistency, that's what, and that's what I said, mate. I, I don't care. Oh, about this guy. There we go, flesh golem scoring for out for the win. Boy, howdy! You can clear it. You can clear one tackle zone, pick it up in one, easy. Mm. So yeah, maybe it's just all London centric and Virgin. It is. It is. I think it is. Yeah. But my time. my brother still lives in Essex, and it was it was terrible where he was, and he had to ditch it. Oh wow, he's got his he's got his canoring threat. Like he has to have one, right? Well, <laughs> I wasn't lying, right Jim. Thing. I wasn't lying. I said flesh got him scoring threat for the win. Yeah, like he's got to do it. I mean, like he's got the six plus six plus. Fails. Oh, he did. The edge two costs him. He, he made the five plus. If he'd been edge three, you would have uh, you would have made the pickup. This has been a bit of a non-event. It's, it's been a sad semi-final, to be fair. And then what we've basically achieved through this is we're going to get a grind fest for um, the final. We're going to have two <laughs> high TV orc teams bashing each other, and whoever bashes better probably wins. I guess. Yeah. I mean, orcs are pretty good, aren't they? Yeah, they're not bad. Maybe not Russian orcs. No way in Pharaoh. We discovered that Sindane is actually American, so whoever told us that he was uh, Russian. Yeah, was Sindane is American. I, I, I played. Sind I lost 3 0 to Sindane the other day. Mm. Uh, I wasn't trying to win, but you know. And you were like. Fuck you, you're Russian, and he's like, I'm not, yeah, I'm not a Russian, I'm American. No, no, I, I, I just typed to chat, I was like, are you Russian? And he laughed his head off and was like, no, I'm American. I was like, <laughs> Jimmy Fantastic told me you were Russian. <laughs> and he was like, what? <laughs> I was told by someone else he was Russian. No. He not doesn't even have the Silyric names. I know, but not all of them do, do they? You know, Cruz has tiredness, doesn't he? 
Oh, he's got rid of his scoring. And throw. how to make no. a smoothie and stuff like that. It's not all, you know, you don't all have. You yeah, but crew streams in English as well. Yeah, but like, you know, other other Russians could be the same as Cruz, couldn't they? I think, is, D is Dion Lord playing CCL this season? Mm. I'd love to see Dion Lord on, you know, uh, Chalice. Yeah, he's not Russian, is he? No, he's Italian. Yeah. But like, because he's DM Lord and this is DM Ed, like, they always get confused and people assume that... Like, I assumed DM Lord was Russian for ages. <laughs> I did, I did. Yeah. And he's not. He does look like Sila from uh, Heroes, though. <laughs> he does a bit, yeah. <laughs> he does. <laughs> You could mistake Christopher for a Swede with his love for furniture. <laughs> <laughs> and, and meatballs. Yeah. I'd really hate scoring with Mr. Throw here. Like, I guess you get leader on him. Or like tackle or whatever. I'd take leader every day of the week. I think I'd rather get piling on on, on a author guard on a line or whatever. I think he's, he's, missed, he's missed opportunities here. Cause like he was so dominating, wasn't he? I think he could have scored in whoever he wanted. So, do you think it's safe to say that a pylon wolf is bad? No. Or is a pylon wolf good? I think a pylon wolf is great. You just gotta not fucking pile on like an idiot when there's a fucking guy that stove your fucking head in. <laughs> yeah. Like. See, I, I'm always, I'm from that school where I've always been told a pylon mighty blow wolf is bad, but. Like, no, it's it's definitely not bad, but I mean, I would never, ever, ever take my e blow or piling on over plus strength. Like, that's the biggest thing about the walls, isn't it? Is that is the strength three? So, I'll well, that's if yeah, but you need a double six for that, don't you? Yeah, I know, but like some people have have taken a mighty blow or a piling on instead of the strength, and I think I'd take the strength first. Yeah. Yeah. I would, I mean, that, that's, that's the only time Because then it just negates loads of frenzy traps, doesn't it? So yeah, that's, like, that's the only time I wouldn't take a piling on wolf, is, you know, and as bad, like, as, as, as bad as people say claw without mighty blow is, when it's free, it's not actually that bad. Yeah. And there's a load of, there's a load of things that people like, like, Nurgle, you look at Nurgle, right? When are you ever going to take foul appearance? When are you ever going to take disturbing presence? But when it's free, it's actually good. Like, yeah. like wrestle on. Well, I, I guess it's kind of annoying, but wrestle on uh, blockers in Bretonia. It's like it's free, so you, you you have it and you use it. But like, yeah, with strength access, it's kind of crap. Yeah. And yeah, it is like that here, Devon. I've taken claw instead of strength on a on a chalk blocker. I did that once, and I will never ever ever do that again. <laughs> I learned my was lesson. Was that was that the one that died to the goblo? The gob oh no, it was a claw problem. Wasn't it? it was on fumble. It was on fumble. I, uh... I did it. But at least I learned. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm about to spring into action. Any moment. <laughs> yeah, I think that was a real bad pile on. Like, he, he should have absolutely done what was said, like, put the pressure down, hit from there, and then, and then just hit and run. And if you've done that. Like, having the claws important, isn't it? Does he get a part in gifts? No. No. Uh, <laughs> his, D, his DP isn't even in range to foul, is it? <laughs> yeah, just just about. Yeah, it's gonna foul the goblin. No <laughs> way. Oh god. Uh, god, yeah, Femi, that'd be amazing, isn't it? He's like Rocky Ford, isn't it? Yeah, America versus Russia. I'll be. Tan you was bribed with Phil. <laughs> was that sort of game, wasn't it? Double one, into a one on the bribe. Absolutely Fourteen. fucked by the dice, Diamed. But, you know, single. Was he though, Jim? Was he though, Jim? Yeah, That's he the was. Thing. Yeah, he was. But, yeah, but then, like, it's every every decision you make changes the, the dice for the rest of the game. 
yeah, I've got no idea which team was which. So there's no point looking at that. But um, it, you know, obviously, like he was, I think he definitely got the worst of the dice, right? But then uh, obviously he could have played differently. Like yeah, if he doesn't pom, he doesn't roll those two dice, which completely changes the future. Like it's yeah, it's uh, it's one of them. Yeah. And then like yeah, the one the one in nine to fail to score. But then even if he does score, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it was going to be rough. Whatever happened. The KO roll is probably the major thing. I think with the Wolves staying out for the second half, like Singolo could just do whatever he wanted and it didn't matter. Yeah, he, like, he didn't have anything good happen to him, did he? <laughs> At all. No, while, no, no. You know, it'd, be like, it, it'd be one of them games that me and you play and you're like, we're just watching someone else play Blood Bowl. Yeah, exactly. Didn't even get to play Blood Bowl. <laughs> didn't even get to play Blood Bowl. <laughs> And, uh, well, there you go. Thank you very much, Dimmy, for the cold cast. You've been absolutely amazing, as always. The absolute champ. Wee! Hey. And, uh, hey. <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.